The Marshall Plan, officially called the European Recovery Program, was created by the U.S. with the humanitarian intention of helping European nations recover after World War II, whereas the geostrategic goal was stopping the spread of Marxism and shaping European policy. It was announced by George Marshall on the 5th of June 1947 and primarily ended up benefiting Western Europe, mainly because the USSR refused to let the Central and Eastern European countries that were under its sphere of influence be involved. To administer the mostly U.S.-provided financial aid, the Organization for European Economic Cooperation, or OEEC, was founded in 1948, and by 1951, the U.S. had contributed with roughly $130 billion in today's dollars. While definitely not enough to fix Europe's problems, it helped tremendously. Think of it as an important ingredient, not a miracle solution. The main beneficiary of the Marshall Plan and OEEC was the United Kingdom followed by France and West Germany. With the help of the OEEC, the European Economic Community, which has since turned into the European Union, established a European free trade area. By the end of the 50s, some OEEC members thought the goal of rebuilding Europe had been reached. As such, the organization was reformed in 1961, and its name changed to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, to highlight its broader global scope. Today's OECD can be considered a super think tank that tries to shape international policy through its activity, from publishing papers and databases to maintaining a tax haven blacklist, assessing the academic performance of students from various countries and so on.